interesting. So you start off with the fabric first for me, it's or fabric. colors. For me, it's, yeah, it's the fabric of the colors. I'm very much a fabric person. I love textures. You all know, like, between floral and sequin and lace, it just makes my heart pitter-patter. So when I'm <laughs> able to, to either create something um, in-house, whether it's a textile or find a textile that's existing, whether you know, but I try to, uh, recently we've been pivoting towards like more sustainable products um, just making sure that like it, it works in that space for me that's like that's the heart thread right there I'm like okay mm -hmm. great what do I want to make this look like you know like how do I want to change this from being this fabric to being this amazing gown or this amazing suit okay very cool so I met you when you just won the 2018 Charleston um competition right so what has life been like afterwards oh my goodness life has been good it's been of course ups and downs because of course being a small business being woman-owned having to work off a certain set of funds and scaling right. and things of that sort, and just learning process it's been you know ups and downs but for the most part the charleston fashion week platform winning that um opportunity or having that opportunity has definitely i think trusted my business. Um, I was able after Charleston Fashion Week to sit down and have lunch with Fern Malice, which I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Like me? Like I get to go and have like, okay, great. You know, and from there, which is really honest conversations. And one thing that I've, you know, that sticks with me to this day, Fern's like, oh, Tyron, don't quit your day job. Like you're an amazing designer, mm -hmm. but fashion is so expensive and the way in which things are ever changing, you always have to, you know, you always have to ensure that you have the financial backing behind you. And with that stated, you're a smart girl. And I tell you not to quit your day job. And I'm like, okay, great. Okay, that makes sense. Right. And then it's more so um, having things like coming from Charleston Fashion Week and being able to do Philly Fashion Week and being invited to New York Fashion Week. These have all been opportunities, I think, because Charleston Fashion Week opened up the brand awareness mm -hmm. to, for people to know that Tiger and Lace was out there, you know, or is out there. Um, so I think that many opportunities have come from that. I still get people to the same, like, oh, you won? I'm like, oh, yeah, I did. Okay, great. You know, like, and, and just building, you know, the relationship with Charleston Fashion Week. They've invited me back several times, and it's been nothing but love. So, right. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely been, a, you know, a great uh, tool to have in my toolbox for design. Would you advise any up-and-coming fashion designer to participate in the Charleston? Okay. I, there's... There's no reason not to. The amount, like I said, the resources, I think I came out that year and we had like a 12-month um, a mentorship with marketing and understanding like how, uh, at that time, like how social media works and how it was to grow your business with that space. And then also being able to have like the video assets and the runway photos. Like these are key things that like mm -hmm. designers pay so much for. And Charles and Faculty, yeah, was able to just give that, you know, to you as part of your package of participation, not just to win, but participation. So right. I say that if you can get in, if you, you know, do the work, it, it'll show up and, and you'll be, you'll be very excited from what you're able to yield from that opportunity. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are just so gun ho on just going to New York Fashion Week or Paris, like the big five. And I'm just like, you know, there's so much more opportunities, especially with this landscape of digital media, you just never know like who can just make your your brand, you know, the next big thing or someone that can provide you resources or give you visibility. You just never know. So I thought that was an important question to ask. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I think even now in today's market, like fashion market, that social media is the driver. Like, I don't care what, what fashion week you do, you know, I right. think it's more so for the designer to say internally, like, oh, I did Paris and I did New York and, you know, I did, you know, whatever fashion week you're trying to do. But I think at the end of the end of the day, being able to reach your audience through social media, being able to show right. your pieces the way that you want to show it, I think is like the driving factor. So I say, number one, invest in your marketing, invest in social media, invest in a strategic plan for you to grow your business over, you know, you know, 12 to three to five years. Um, right. Or, months to three or five years and then from there you'll see that that is really the driver you know it, it's not about a fashion week it's really about you being able to reach the audience that you're trying to reach to be able to grow the financial piece to be able to scale your business correctly to be able to have opportunities and things of that sort very important they do not it's, it's a lot of people who just be like i gotta make i gotta make this 
the next big thing and i'm just like well what about marketing yeah. who's gonna buy this garment like you're making you're putting all this money and sweat equity in into everything and you right. don't even know who your customer is right. like how are you pitching it like how are you marketing it what do you like you're just gonna pop up and it's just it's, it's a lot girl it is it is <laughs> it is 